If it doesn't fire up, just feed a little more fuel to it. And that's going to be Keith Henning, the Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Chevrolet Camaro pulling into the water box right now with rear Morrison power. Schweitzer Dynamics on board for the car dealership owner. A little short burn out there for Keith Haney. Chevrolet is going to back up here in just a moment. Of course, Brandon Schweitzer's on board and Larry Jeffers and Suburban Chevrolet and Buick, GMC. Even has a Nissan and a Hyundai. And a Mitsubishi dealership. Mitsubishi. Got to get your Mitsubishi. <coughs> Brandon I was Pez helping out. Up, um, one year, probably maybe 10, 12 years ago now. I did go visit that facility there in Normal, Illinois. That's what it's called. Uh, where the Mitsubishi, the main factory here in the United oh, wow. States, is. that's where they're located out of. A little tour of that. Now they end up in the Green County, uh, Green Country Mitsubishi car lot. And Keith Haney's going to sell you a car. You know what? If we're talking about matchups, yeah, if we're, if we're going to talk about car deals, I'd like to see Keith Haney try to sell me a car, and I'd like to see Bob Harris try to sell me a car. Just put those, put those two guys in the same. Oh room. man! I tell you what, I come out real good. I don't know if I could sit down for about a month at least with that one owner. I know I'd walking out of there probably feel like I'm on top of the world, or somebody would. So Keith Haney. You know what, while it's nice and quiet, we have put a call out for junior dragsters. That's uh, pro and top junior dragsters to the lanes. Keith Haney's rolling forward here. Probably going to be the last pro nitrous machine that we see. In this session. So here we go, Keith. Single run, summit side. You go to the top, you got to go a 74 6 or quicker. I'm going to say Keith is going to run about a. Man, oh man, if I was a bet man, I would have been close, but that's only. Uh, well, that doesn't count. Yeah, horseshoes and hand grenades, and we don't play that. 384 with an 8198 to speed. All right, I uh, see a Ford Mustang, I believe, coming up. Who is that? Okay, there's Keith Haney. That's a rear Morrison powered over here on the left hand side. Keith Haney out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Over on the right side, his purpose Ford is. That's a Sunday Leonard powered uh, 903. Uh, Keith Haney's got a rear Morrison in his car, 873. This is probably uh, what Sonny in the next room, he, won't, he ain't going to tell me what it is. That's the top secret. But anyway, it's 903, I do know that. 872 for rear marshal. Both of these cars represented by good engine builders. And uh, you just, you know, this ought to be a great, this ought to be a great session really right here with the air like it is. This is going to be a great session. What we're looking at now, Keith Haney, number 11 in the qualified field. He's been 384 with an 8 at 198.03 miles an hour. Robert Patrick from Fredericksburg, Virginia, the 44-year-old from Purvis Ford. Coming to you from Ford Easy Care, number 10, went a 384 with a 3. Bob? Well, I tell you, Keith Haney, you know, down at Rockingham, Keith pulled up a, a uh, 374 right out of the hat. Let me tell you, I don't know where that came from. He said he didn't either, but it went 374. <laughs> so that's the good thing. You know, Brandon Schweitzer's was on board him, Jefferson Race Cars. Uh, he's got seven dealerships. Uh, Keith's a great promoter over in Tulsa Raceway. Uh, he's helped the PDRA, supports his every race. And uh, he's the only man I know now taught me. Well, that's very true, but I'll tell you something about Keith Haney. If you're in a room and there's somebody talking about something in a very intelligent way, it's usually Keith Haney, a very smart gentleman. You know what I like about Keith? He knows how to get in the pocketbook. He can do that. He can do that. But I'll tell you what, he's going to get started off next year at Tulsa Osage Casino Raceway Park. We're going to be there first of the year. First race coming up, that 016 schedule on the Internet now. Check it out. Now, you're talking about clutches now. Uh, Robert is one of the few cars. Now, yep. I know Castellano has gone back to a clutch now. Uh, Robert Patrick's uh, stuck with the clutch from day one, never has it on the automatic. Uh, it's a good car. I mean, it's a big one. Uh, Mustang, I'm sure it'll run good. Top ball grip.
was talking junk about him. He said he didn't know where he found it at a rocket ham. Well, he found it in Virginia, too. And if you ask him where he found it, he's going to say, I don't know. Yeah, yeah Rob right. Patrick, unfortunately, hit the tires. I don't know. It might have squared him up, but he'll be come back in the morning. we got another time. Man, let me tell you. I've never Keith seen him. He goes to the top. <laughs> I've never seen his name on the top of that list. He's going to have to figure out how he did that for sure. I, I, I bet, oh, um, when they when I interview him down there in the... Um, Top end zone, Rick Jones top end zone, I guarantee you he'll be jumping around like a rabbit in the fireplace. <laughs> 254. So here we are, Brian Olson, uh, top end zone, uh, quarter max, RJ race cars, Keith Haney, you went to the number one spot, 374, and I know Brian would be proud, so that's why we're here. I got him riding along with me. What a, I mean, this guy right here, he, it just something helps. I mean, he just, he's just a good person, and I miss him every single day. He, uh, you know, I just, I just miss him. But there... You know, the crew, they worked hard. We did some adjustments last, you know, last qualifying, and it was real lazy going down the track. So uh, the 74 with a 1 probably won't hold up right now, but we're extremely happy with it. And, uh, you know, with Lucas Oil and Racing Junk and, you know, Brandon Schweitzer, he's a tuner, and our uh, chassis guy is uh, Brandon Pez, and the car is by Larry Jeffers. So, I mean, and the rear Morrison Power, I mean, what can you say, 200 mile an hour? Shoot. I was looking for 202, though. <laughs> You're getting closer, getting closer. So keep your eye out. Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. Keith is gonna has a statement. He wants to win this one for Brian. That's right, I do, and I love it. Thank you. Guys. We'll switch gears and go into a different category now. This is. Oh, go ahead. You guys are ready. We're ready uh, upstairs. Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous, and there's going to be a low ET sponsor, Sonny Leonard. Sunny Racing Engines has put up low ET money here. Yeah, we've got Sunny on board right out there talking to Charlie Buck is Todd Horner. That's Sonny's right hand man there. Todd Horner from Seattle, one of the best in the Division Six in NHRA. He ran Top Sportsman Pro Stock. Very nice gentleman, quiet spoken and very sincere. Uh, a great fellow. Uh, he's here in support of Sonny Leonard's company and he does a great job doing it. Of course, Sonny's got a wounded foot here this weekend. Not sure what he did, but glad to see him. Wounded foot or not. Todd Howard over here on the uh, left side. Moxville, North Carolina. 50-year-old machine shop owner. Campers in RV. Schweitzer Dynamics sponsors the class. 2014 Mustang. Jerry Williams, also a uh, crew chief, car owner. Check out that sticker on the hood of Keith Haney on the right-hand side. Keith from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, owns car dealership at age, well, he owns seven car dealerships at age 43. Very stout gentleman indeed. For Brandon Schweitzer, Racing Junk, Larry Jeffers in all the dealerships. Number two in the field, been 374 at 200 miles an hour. Rear and Morrison power under the hood there. For Todd Howard, he's a Fulton piece, 903 inches. The owner of the car, Jerry Williams. He's on 13, 383 with a 5. Keith, number 2, 374. Let's take a look at what they're going to give us here. Both these cars safe and in the field. Three stage. Goes 376. Three. I hear him hollering the career best over here on the left side. Todd Howard went 376 at 198. And Keith Haney, 374 at 200. Good enough for the number two spot. Todd, or Keith's going to go 376 on this run. So 76 is no help on the 74, but still good enough for number two. Oh, I got I to gotta get the king of all things of competition right here straightened out as quick as I can. So, Ron Minix, Keith Haney, taking care of business. Haney, Broken Hour, Oklahoma. Minix, Stafford, Missouri. And you know what? Broken Oma, uh, Tulsa, and Stafford, Missouri ain't that far away. Right. Uh, these guys probably pulled down here together. If the truth was known, they're, they're going to be pitted pretty close to side by side over there. And need the car parts. Uh, they're probably borrowing car parts from each other, so... Both of them with the big uh, rear Morrison power plants. I'll tell you what, the rear Morrison power plants always have a state in the main. They are right up there with the top. We've got huge competition at the engine builder level here. It's incredible. So number 14, Ron Minix, 
Remorse and power there against Keith Haney, the 2015 Camaro out of Larry Jeffers shot. Final view for the crew as they're going to let their boss go do his thing. with a 5, 100 off his qualifying time at 2. Ryan also top end zone, and that's a good thing to say. Could Keith Heaney moving on to round number 2. You ran a 75, man. How's that feel? Well, that's my first round of uh, winning here in the PDRA, if you want to know the truth. I was sitting in the car. I said, Brian, this is me and you today. I'm going to meet Stevie. I'm telling you. I'm going to meet him in the third round. It's gonna he be says he wants you. Oh, we, we got something going. I heard all about this. Him. Yeah. Yeah, a little hidden there. I want my $40 back. About $40. I won it on a flip. Then he won it back in qualifying. And I want to win it now. <laughs> you know, Rear Morrison, both of us, him and I, Rear Morrison's absolutely awesome. Brandon Schweitzer and Brandon Pez, Brandon Pez, my crew. How about that crew of mine? You know, this year started out bad, like I said last night. But I can tell you right now, that, that car right there, we got a hot rod. Larry Jeffers builds one bad, I was going to say something, but the hot rod. So we're ready. So there you have it, Keith Haney moving on around number two. Brian Olson riding on board. Let's see what happens here. It's Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. Four. Oh, wait, that's Stevie Fast. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa. Talking about? He's got four tires, but don't run in the fours. Four tires. Yeah. That's right. Got a little horsepower. Let me tell you, that's why every round is important in this deal. Number 15 and number two, I don't know what the increments was, but he was in my door the whole race. That was a good race. There's nobody taking nobody lightly. We had that thing gassed up. We were trying to go 72 and 72. I'm going to show you all something before it's over with. I don't change what the horse eats. It didn't like the oats. We were feeding it, so we got new oats. The oats, that's right. You gotta watch the oats, cause Stevie Fast is coming after you, baby. Right here, Pro Nitrous. This is the last race, and they are wearing them out right to the end. So, Rear Morrison going up against Travis Harvey here in second round. Against the big Sunny's 959 cubic inch with tons of nitrous going through it. Crew guys, shutting the door on Keith Haney. He's ready to roll forward, getting laid into the seats and pulling them tight, baby. Here comes Haney. Top bulbs lit. Travis is ready. Keith Haney takes the win, 375 with a one, margin of victory 12 thousandths of a second, going to your right-hand lane, Keith Haney. Dude, I tell you what, Keith Haney talking about awesome, man. The World Finals, moving on to the semis, how you feeling? Ah, oh, man, what a great feeling. My crew back at, you know, back in the pits, they're doing an absolute wonderful job. Brian Olson with us, everybody at home, my family at home that allows me to do this and enjoy it. You know, Rear Morrison and their power, Mark making his transmission, Larry Jeffers has given me one bad boy car. And, you know, I went against uh, the kid there, and he absolutely, I know it was close, something, I think he left on me. I'm not for sure, though. But great, great, great racing. I love it, man. It's almost, t almost time to go bracket racing, man. That thing is on a rail A to B. He's consistent. Yeah, I went, um, what I go, 74, 76, 75, and 75. So, yeah, I mean, she's on a roll, finally. Well, Brandon Schweitzer and, and – um, uh, Swatcher Dynamics, and then Brandon Pez that does the chassis chassis setup. He's just these guys all work real hard, and everybody at the shop at Swatcher and Rear Morts, and they they really work hard for it. I'm going for Stevie though. Let's see if he wins right here. It's either Stevie or uh, Stokins. But guess what? Rear's going into the finals. Rear Morts and Fire's going into the finals. So let's see who it is. So there you have it. Swatcher Dynamics, uh, Pro Nitrous, Keith Haney, moving on to the semifinals. What you see? It's a bird. It's a plate. No, it's Stevie Fast. Look at that. Killing Tom Racing. I'm going to give the horse the right oats. On Champion over here. On Special Blender Herbs and Spices. I feel bad at Billy because I pulled the shoot a little early and slowed it down. But next run, I guarantee you, will stay on the floor the whole time. Might even host gas on Keith Haney. Now, Keith Haney said he's taking all that money from me. What's that $40 back? $40 and bet $10,000. We'll race. Woo! There you go. Killing Tom Racing, baby. Stevie Fast right here. Swicer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. So we were talking about it here. The semi coming up for Jackson and Haney couple of rear Morrison power plants coming up. Number two and number three in the qualified field. I guess you could have figured that would happen. But Haney, probably the most improved pro nitrous car on the property. 374 with a zero, over 200 miles an hour. And he is a happy camper. The co-partner and owner of 
Osage Casino, Tulsa Raceway Park. Working with my good friend Todd Martin, who's a, a real fine guy. And uh, they are a class deal. So now, David Rear, you got to get up and watch. If you're laying down on the couch, time to get up. Stevie Pass is going to come down here and try to take out Keith Haney. Keith Haney's coming down to take out Jackson. This is a semifinal round in Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. So here comes back from the burnout, Stevie Jackson. He races going forward or back. He don't care which way. He's the honey badger. He don't care. I just made that up. Yeah, you guys are talking about honey badger. Tell me, <laughs> fill me in on that. Uh, you need to Google a honey badger and listen. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. Stevie Fast Jackson is the way I know him from Evans, Georgia. So Brandon Pez. Brandon Schweitzer, all involved with Keith Haney, coming to you from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, on a live feed now. The Larry Jeffers race car, we're Morrison powered. Keith Haney, ready to do battle. Stevie, a purge of the nitrous, left lane. Killing time racing with Holly EFI on board, Billy Stocklin on the keyboard. Taking care of the tune, SEI Oldfield and Jeff Sitton with Killing Time Racing. Well, there ain't no time to kill here, baby. We got 30 minutes left for the night, and we got to get these cars down the racetrack. One of these guys has got to take Sidney Frigo on. Let's see who it's going to be. Is it going to be the rear Morrison power of Keith Haney on the right, or the rear Morrison power on the left? Stevie Jackson or Keith Haney? Haney in the bulb. Here's Stevie. Seven seconds for Keith. He's in. And a post on the tree. He's out in front. He gets the win. 370 with a five. Right at the break point. Almost another six second run or point six run for Stevie. 202.61 mile an hour. So they're trying to shoot for those 60s. I'm telling you, that's about as close as you can be. Yeah, and you know what? It's not out of the uh, out of the park yet.